It is April 26th, Sunday. I'm about to glove up and put my face mask on to head out to a supermarket to shop for extended family. But first, on the way, I thought I'd show you the new firmware that came out for Teslas, uh, just yesterday in my case. And it's gonna actually offer the ability, while on, say, cruise control around town, to actually stop at stoplights and stop signs. That is a pretty remarkable leap forward. And I thought I'd give you a moment, uh, a little quick look around my car and how I set the cameras up. And then you can head on the ride with me to witness it for the very first time. I only have about a 20 minute window here where the rain is predicted to lighten up for a bit. So all of 10 or 20 minutes, it might not be raining hard. <laughs> and here's what I set up. I've got a strapped on very tightly, strong LED light shining on the pedals so that you can actually see me operate the brake and the accelerator pedals. And I've got two GoPros, it's a little nuts, right? Having a glass roof here is rather handy for GoPros. So you can just suction cup it on there. And that's the Hero 8. And then here's a Hero 7 with a view that's gonna show the visualizations. This is the area that I wanna focus on. So hopefully this works out well and then actually you can see the foot pedals. I have shiny covers on there and that should really help make things easier to see while I'm driving along. And go to release notes. And this talks about the update, traffic, light, and stop sign control beta. I want to emphasize that. Tesla's always very clear with software like this that, yes, it is beta. Okay, and the dash cam viewer, that's already been out. So we'll go ahead and activate this under uh, controlled autopilot traffic light. So head on over to controls, autopilot, and there it is. Traffic light and stop sign control beta. Turn that on and read another warning, which is very clear that I need to be paying careful attention at all times. I've actually watched um, a couple of other people on video doing this yesterday. So I've already read through all this, but yeah, over time we will learn from the fleet. So yes, as I hit my accelerator or brake pedal or use the stock to confirm that I want to uh, proceed through a green light that it's slowing down for, this will help it learn how to do that. and be smarter about it in the future. So now I've turned that on. Now here's the thing, I'm in easy entry mode. That's not Paul mode. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, which uh, you can now see my foot's on the brake. That went into Paul here. And you'll see it looks like autopilot might still be on. Let's just double check that. Yep, traffic light and stop sign control beta is turned on. I am ready to roll. So time to seatbelt up and get the uh, GoPro heroes rolling. All right, this is going to put us on some surface roads, a uh, little bit of highway, well, kind of highway, divided highway anyway. And we should see some traffic control signals as well, for sure. So time to head out. Let me um, see if the squirrel wheel shows. Yep, you can see the squirrel wheel with, with my thumb. So here we go. I'm going to turn off the AC. Very comfortable day anyway. And off we go. Just a light touch of rain. But like I said, I've got about a 10, 20 minute window where dark sky is showing me that we should be in the clear here and the rest of the day is pretty lousy. All right, so around town, we can set cruise control with a single tap. Not the speed I intended. I don't know why. Okay, so now we're going 35 cruise control, right? I'm the one steering. The car is doing the speed control. And when we get 600 feet from the intersection, it st should start warning me it's going to slow down. Now, there's a car ahead of me. It's not the best example. It would stop anyway for a car. 500 feet. There it is. The pop-up. 400. Okay. It's slowing down. My foot is not on the brake. Hopefully, uh, you can see that. My foot's hovering over the brake. Okay. Now, I'm accelerating. I'm pushing the accelerator pedal gently and going through the intersection. And it beeps saying cruise control is not available. It disengages. So, turns um let's engage that again okay so i've got cruise control on again i don't know where it came up with 56 miles an hour here's the speed limit now we got a green i tap the accelerator to confirm i want to go i never touch the stock i could touch the stock once to confirm or i can tap the accelerator tapping the accelerator worked so far this feels pretty natural my first two intersections my eyes are on the road by the way i don't need to look at the visualizations because i'm recording them all to check out with you later on. Hopefully the cameras are aimed uh, well enough where you can see the traffic lights. I may need to aim or re-aim them a little bit. It's really hard to um, set all that up when you're parked. 
Okay, again, around town you're supposed to be using steering with your own hands anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, I tapped the accelerator because it started slowing down at the green light to tell it, nope, safe to proceed. All right, cool. Now let's see what happens here. Not a very good sight line over that hill. But of course, as usual, it's slowing down as it normally would for cars ahead of me. All right, now I see the light has turned green. It knows that. It's proceeding, my foot's hovering above the accelerator to now tap the accelerator to confirm I want to continue through the intersection. And now it's gonna probably complain because I'm on a turn, let's see. Yeah, cruise control is actually still set and it's set at 40. So I can tap at 50. Whoa, it's 66, where did that number? So I seem to have my um, speed set higher than the speed limit. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, I actually had to pull over to uh, clear up some space in the SD card because I'm framing at 60 frames a second and this gobbles up lots of storage. Okay, so now I'm going to be heading down a divided highway. And, uh, here we go. Double tap. Nope, wasn't eligible. So the gray steering wheel hadn't turned on yet, now it has. There we go. So now the car can do the driving. Uh, I forgot to fix my speeds there, but anyhow, going the speed limit of 50. Stopping for traffic control light, I tap the accelerator pedal, and it proceeds. So yeah, it takes a little getting used to, but not a big deal. Um, again, we're in the very conservative, super safe, ultra early days of this. Now I um, overshot, so I need to do a U-turn, but that'll give me a chance to hit another intersection or two here. Okay, car slowed slightly because another car in front of me was going slower. What I want to do is hit a couple more intersections, lighted intersections. Without a car in front of me, ideally. That could take a little setting up to do. So I dropped four miles per hour there before I remembered to tap the accelerator to continue through a green intersection. So there's no chimes or anything. There is the screen telling me, oh, okay, that there. I only dropped one mile per hour on that one. So if I react a little earlier to the slowdowns, I'm better off. I'm just hoping for a red light without a car ahead of me. <laughs> Haven't seen one yet. Tap the accelerator, here we go. And it decided to stop. My foot is hovering over the brake. Sorry, over the accelerator, now it's over the brake. Oh man, perfect. Right on the stop line. It did a fine job. And you can't see the light, so that's not good. So there's my stop light. And, um, that was awesome. A little confusion here on who's yellow there, but that's not a lane that's paying attention to anyway. The only light that matters is the one above me. So that was pretty cool. So let's see what happens when it turns green. Okay, I touched the accelerator. The car is now speeding up. So all I did was tap the accelerator. The car is speeding up very smoothly. Um, maybe a little too conservatively. Not the fastest acceleration there, considering there's no one ahead of me. But it is resuming going the speed limit without any interaction other than me just tapping the accelerator pedal momentarily. So yes, it's in the mood to be very conservative, tap it again, keep going through this green light in these early phases of testing. Okay, let's do an automatic lane change. So if you have the added feature to the Tesla, which will allow this, you turn on the blinker and it looks at all the cameras, make sure it's safe, and then does a lane change. Turn left again, see what happens. Okay, that one's not going to execute. So we're going into U-turn land here. And I've not touched any pedals. And I don't know what's going to happen. Now my pedal, my accelerator pedal is being touched. Now I'm yellow and I just hit the brakes with my foot. Didn't want to push my luck there. So it's getting a little close to the intersection. Anyhow, so far this has gone quite well. Car is maintaining 50 miles an hour at the speed limit. I'm doing the steering wheel. And... All I got to do is tap the accelerator pedal once in a while if I wanted to continue through green lights. So again, this is an optional feature. It's a little less convenient than normally where we just proceed through anything, green or red. Okay, that one I had to tap twice in the accelerator to confirm. It was a little bit weird. 
we double tap this, you'll notice there's no navigate on autopilot. That's for restricted access highways. Navigate on autopilot would automatically get me to the exit ramp, slow down, execute the exit interchange, including um, clover leaves and whatnot, and uh, safely get you to your next highway. That is not for around town yet, so I'll just point that out. Here comes the stop sign. My first one where I've got the car doing the stopping now. Excellent. Okay, there's cars coming both sides and the other side. I'm just waiting for them to proceed. Now I'm gonna tap my accelerator and more than just a tap, I gave Gusta a little bit to get through the intersection with a little more certainty and speed. So that was my first stop sign, unattended stopping where the car did all the work. Again, I had to engage on a, um, cruise control at that point for that to happen. If you're just driving around town like without cruise control on, it's not gonna stop. Now that one stopped a little more abruptly because my foot was still in the accelerator. As soon as I let the accelerator go, it continued to stop for me. And there's way too many cars here. So this supermarket feels way too crowded to me. That's not something their website or anything tells me, so I'm out of here. That's too bad. Here comes another stop sign. Let's engage cruise control. Cruise control's on. It sees the stop line. And it stopped. This time about five feet short. Use accelerator to continue. Let's proceed. Let's see how it does with this one. Okay, my cruise control is still set. It's gonna stop. In 100 feet. In zero feet. Stopped about three feet short on that one. So a little bit inaccurate. It showed double stop signs on the rendering there. That was a little weird. And now we've got a right on red, which you can't do. No turn on red. All right. My foot's off of all pedals. And this time it's stopping about three feet short. So suddenly I seem to be stopping three feet short of all the stop lines. I'm not sure why that is. You'll see the turn arrows are rendered on screen. It's pretty cool. Sort of paint on the ground. And hopefully on the GPS, you can see that there's quite a bit of accuracy on the maps now for the uh, aerial view there. Okay. I immediately tapped on the stock. The car proceeded. I'm in control of steering. And it's not going to accelerate to the speed limit unless I set the speed limit. The speed limit's been set. Okay. So that worked. I did nothing with the pedals whatsoever. See through these intersections. Here comes another one. Slowing again. Okay, it's a little weird. So you gotta wait until it shows a stop line before you tap the accelerated pedal. Otherwise the car will kind of continue to fight you. Well, not really fight you, but not confirm that you want to continue through the intersection. So I learned a few things there lanes manually with the good old-fashioned swivel head technique and looking around. So that's it. I think I've gotten a good sense of how this goes. Uh, no scary moments. I'm always in control. When you take over in this car, if you've never driven one of these, the subtle motorized steering wheel action, it's very subtle. There's no fear that you can't some, you know, overpower it or, um, you know, just break out of autopilot at any moment. Whether you tap the brake or move the steering wheel enough to break out of automatic steering. It's not nerve-wracking. Okay. Uh, here we got the car doing the auto steering. And I'll just make my point if you've never driven one of these. A very slight movement of the wheel. You can see I barely deviated my lane, maybe one foot, and I've broken out of autopilot. Lane change, tap, car does the work for me, checking all the cameras around, make sure it's safe to do so, and executes the lane change. Pretty amazing, right? And here comes another intersection. But this one has a car ahead of me, so nothing magic there. The car was always stop, even on past software versions in that sort of situation. Okay, tap the accelerator. Car proceeds. Lane change here. Another lane change, my car should slow to slot in behind that car at a safe distance in front of me. And it worked beautifully and proceed through the intersection. Well, thank you for watching and joining me on this adventure. 
This is all new to everybody. Uh, a car that can actually do some automation around town, not just on the highway. 